Do 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 do. Where's the drill? There it is. We're gonna see what it looks like in here. You guys, this uh, I I said that I figured this dryer was 20, 25 years old. Looks like it was checked out 9/11 of 02. So that's 20 years right there. And that, if it was serviced then, if that's what that means, uh, this could have been bought in a, in a rental place or something. That they usually write that stuff on there, but they would have a serial number. So I think that says OK, 91102. So let me see if I can read anything on this that might tell us its age. But I guarantee you, no, I don't see anything there, and that's worn out. Yeah, it's been service. Uh, I mean, this is an old Kenmore, so ain't no telling. Let's get this back off and shop back it out. It ain't going outside because that door, I don't think, eh, it might go out that door. It might, but I'm not going to blow it out. I'm going to shop back it out. Get this cover off, see what we're dealing with. See what might be living up in there. And here we go. Oh, one more. That figure has got to be a different size. Well, I got the cussing out of the way looking for these bits. I have two different sizes of nuts on here. Bolts, whatever you want. Alright, Libby, I'm, I'm shooting a movie. She does this every time. There it is. We are moments away. I hope it is full of stuff. That explains a lot. Where'd you go, screw? Because I don't want to be digging around for screws. All right, uh, she's got a little bit of stuff in it, <clears throat> not much. Get you down there and look at it. Come on, fair. Come on, fair. Hard to see. I've got a really low 60 watt bulb here. I can't even see what I'm dealing with. Not too bad. I'm going to suck this out with a shot back real good. I may try to get it out. I don't think I need to go past that. Now, all the rest of that's a drum, so I'll just vacuum this out. All right, my goal today is to get this washer and dryer installed and get a load of laundry in. All right, now I'm going to mark my hole. Cut my dryer in out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> Let's see. Eh, it looks about good to me. Something like it. I don't move on me, boy. Looks like a bag gum circle to me. Uh, I should have ripped the paper first, but we'll be all right. I'm gonna drill a hole and get my circular saw. Cut that dude out and probably go a little a little wider on the outside of the line. Cause this fits over the vent. And uh, then I'm gonna pack this full of something. Insulation. All right, let me go get the drill and the saw. I knew you'd be in. You just can't help yourself. You stay out of my way, okay? I got, I got cut holes. And then I want you trying to stick your beak through there. Change the battery, because I can't find any more batteries. Oh, well, you know why? Because I haven't looked. I haven't looked. Don't you kiss me, you're a boy. Yeah. Now this, sir, will cut a circular saw, a hole, something like that. My fingers hurt so bad for being cut up yesterday.
see me. Battery's done. That's a horrible circle. Now, as long as that doodad fits through there, I'm good. I'll stay away from that saw, boy. I gotta go find another battery. Stop, boy. You're gonna knock my tripod over. Ah, let's see if it'll fit. Oh, not even. Not even close. Except it comes from the other side. No, we could put the dryer outside, Waldo, and vent it into here. And guess what? Central heat and air for you. All right, I'll get that in there. And, uh, well, actually, it has to go more. There's a collar on this right here. Um, this is all the way flush. We're good on that side. That'll work. Now, I'm going to feed it from the other side. Boy, you stay away from my tools. They're sharp. Y'all watch that. I'm gonna go feed it. The dryer vent is in and I got that where the washer's going or the dryer's going all shop back so I'm gonna wheel it in now and hook it up and when the dryer will be done man I hope that cord reaches there I didn't think of that I hope so oh I don't have to worry about it it's got its own electric never mind uh, I'm not thinking right this morning all right so I'm going to go get the dryer. It's been vacuumed out. It really wasn't that bad. But now I got, uh, you know, ease of mind knowing that that was done. All right. Now, when I get to the washing machine, I'm going to cut a piece of plywood to put down the dryer. I'm just going to level it. It's got the self-leveling feet. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but that washing machine needs to be really level. Now, let me go get it. All righty then. Foolish guy. Cause I'm gonna wash some underwear, gonna wash some underwear. I'm getting ready to wash some underwear. Okay. I have to come from this angle. Washer or dryer, I'm just gonna move you a shade. Cut that drastically. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is slip this dude right on there. Oh, ooh, that's wonderful stuff to kneel on, man. Yeah, that's all. What? 
the name of biscuits and gravy. Get on there. Give it a little twist. <laughs> All right, that's where we're not going on right now. See, you make a face and stuff just goes right. Well, oh, wait a minute, wasn't a good enough face. Man, this is round and you're round. You're standard. <laughs> Did you just run into the washing machine, boy? Yeah, you ain't gonna like this dryer because it makes a buzzing noise. Right. Somewhere over the rainbow. Bows are this is angering me. It's making me cross. Let's try this side. There you go. Slip it on like a glove. This is actually ideal to have behind a dryer. It's not flammable. Oh, and that pretty as can be. Yeah, let's lock this dude on. There we have it. Oh, I gotta stand up, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to shut the camera off because I gotta put my rear end to that way. And y'all know what happens when I do that. All right. All right, it's all finished. It's wired. It's leveled. It's off of hair, but it's solid. It ain't moving. I've got it uh, shimmed on the bottom. It'll be good enough. Now, uh, when I put the sheetrock on, which is going to be pretty soon, I think, i got to cut that back a little more because I need to get this dryer back a little. But for now, I can stay out like that. I don't want to pinch that hose. Probably should have left it a little longer, but, you know, that'll work. It's uh, not going to get pinched. I'll check it. All right, now let's uh, let's get this drain pipe, and that's all we need to do for the washer. And uh, I picked up the parts this morning. We'll get it run, and then we will have washer and dryer capabilities. Because it's been getting close, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I'm down to my last pair of underwear. My last pair. <laughs> Two pair. I could have went. I could have just sat on my butt today. Uh, what is that? A T-shirt. Yeah. Close call. We're getting it. All right, man. Uh, get this plumbed in. Then I'll put the insulation back on. The insulation. I picked up some more glue because I know I have it, but I don't know where it's at. You know the drill. All right. Don't have a two inch hole saw, so we're gonna make do. Baller it like that is to make the hole a little bigger. You do that with a jigsaw or a hole saw, the little piece won't get stuck in there. I ain't got no hole saw. Boy, there's a good old breeze coming through that. Look like Swiss cheese right now, Swiss cheese. And I'm just going to try. Clean it up. Alright, well, it fit. Oh, it'll 
the fed, I'll have to do some caulking. <laughs> yeah, caulking. A little fit. Right. So, that's going in yonder. I'm probably in the way of the camera. I got this at a bad angle. I cannot. Ah. There. Mm. I get a little in there. Oh. And that's going to go right there. Oh. Alright. That should fit. Uh, yeah, I can glue these pieces. Alright, I'll come back when I got this part gone. This is easy stuff. Alright, for whatever reason, I knew I needed three elbows, and for whatever reason, I bought two. Maybe the guy handed me two. I don't know. It says two in a receipt, so... Uh, so for now, I just got uh, the pipes stuck in there. I don't. I didn't glue it. That's glued. The elbow's glued. I just want to make sure it's not leaking right here at the wall, and it's not. Okay. Yeah, I got it pushed in there pretty good. It ain't going to leak. All right. Now it's time to clean this little area up here and bring in the washing machine. Then all I got to do is hook up the hoses and plug her in. Ah, I'm out of plugs. I guess the nightlight's going to have to go to the other side of the room. Watching my skivvy soon. I'll be washing my skivvy soon. Gotta plug it in and turn it on, and I'll be washing my skivvy soon. Dirty socks, nasty shirts, everything goes inside. Just gotta level it up there. Well, I spent time sweeping this floor, cleaning this place up, and uh, whew, there we go. Let me get it hooked up. All right, all that's left to do. Let me get you over there. Hook up this water. I like to use Teflon tape. But guess what? I couldn't find it but I don't really need it these are uh, uh, I hope this is marked which is hot and which is cold because I don't remember I don't think it really matter yeah it does matter all right it don't say <laughs> man okay why wouldn't they mark them? why wouldn't they in a flashlight. Oh, it is cold on top, hot on the bottom. It was just warm. What did it say? I already forgot. Hot on the bottom. All right. So that means cold on top. Radio? I'm not liking you right now. Get out of my way. We're on the home stretch, man. I ain't kidding. You. Feels good. Alright, where's my artificial fingers? There they are, artificial fingers. Because I can't get that tight. What was that? I am going to order, I've been looking on Amazon, I don't know which one I've decided on, I'm going to order a Super Soaker Squirt Gun. 
So when these dogs come on my property, I'm gonna soak them down. Well, I don't do nothing. That way it don't hurt them, but they ain't gonna like it, trust me. I already got some out there, I can tell. All right, that was pretty tight as it was. All right, now the hot. Plug her in, move her and level her, we're good. Got the dryer real nice and level. All the insulation put back. I got that little hole where I put the drain pipe through. That's filled in. These are the junkiest channel locks I've ever seen. business there. Alright, time to level her out. I'm going to go see what all the parking's about, man. Guarantee you there's a stray dog. That's every word, a word every dog here knows. Alright guys, we'll be right back. Alright guys, moment of truth. Everything is hooked up, leveled. You get this radio off here. Let's check out the Z washing machine. Get it out of the way, radio. Okay, let's make sure we got water. Go ahead and check the dryer. I just hooked, turned on the breaker. All right. Something ain't right. All right, dryer ain't working. I hooked it up just the way it was. We're crying out loud. Make sure I turn on the right to edit that part out. But I had the wrong breaker on. I turned the stove off. So. <laughs> It runs, man. I'll have to level this in the back a little more. All right, let's check the washer. Lily, what's wrong? Come here. Turn these on. <laughs> it kept the doggone dirt. That's actually coming out faster than it did. Yeah, the hot's always been slow. Wow. All right. I'm back in business. Business, business, business. I got to go check on Lily. She hurt her paw or something, or I think Waldo got her. All right. Got a load of laundry in. The dryers work. So I went outside. It's blowing beautifully. So everything's good. All right, guys, that's all we did today. And tomorrow I'm gonna get in here and get the rest of this thing insulated probably, because we got some cold weather coming next week. So I want I don't want this room getting that cold. Uh, it, it went down to what, 26 last night? It was 52 in here with that little heater on low. <laughs> I left it on low. So it's good when it's nine, it'll probably need to be on high, but we got this done. I appreciate everybody watching. Happy trails. Washer and dryer complete.